Do you want to set up a giveaway on your stream? It can be anything you want to give away, like a game key or a keyboard or even feed pics. Everyone their own thing. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a giveaway with stream elements. Before I'm going to tell you how to set up a giveaway with stream elements, I stream on Twitch on twitch.tv slash stream. So hop in and come say hi. And don't forget to stream smarter, not harder. Okay, so we're gonna go to streamelements.com and we're gonna log in with our Twitch, or if you've done that already, we go to our dashboard. Then here on the left, we're gonna go to loyalty and giveaways. All right, this is where we can set up a giveaway. You can see the giveaways I've done before and here on the left, we can name it. For example, if you wanna give away a game, for example, Starfield giveaway. Win a team key for Starfield. You can actually win a Starfield game key here. Okay, this is just for a tutorial. Now here we can set an image. We can choose one. I'm just gonna select Temtem here. And we're just gonna imagine that that is Starfield, but you can just upload an image by going to upload here and dragging one in or click select files and selecting one. So you could just download an image of the internet and put it in there, but I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna use this Temtem one. So here we have a couple of options for the giveaway. I like to give everyone their first ticket for free. This means that they don't need to spend any loyalty points that they earn with stream elements to be able to join this giveaway. If you do not do that, people need to pay the cost you're gonna set here to join with the first ticket as well. You can send a confirmation via the chat while they have bought a ticket, which makes them know that they've actually entered, which is a good idea to do. And you can make it subscriber only, which means that only subscribers of your Twitch channel can join this giveaway. The thing about that though, is you need to be careful because in some countries it's not allowed to do this in a sense, as you can pay to join a giveaway and because you're only doing it for subscribers, you're only doing it for people that pay. So be aware of that, that there is some great area in the law there. All right, then the ticket cost. How many loyalty points does it cost after the first ticket? Or if you haven't ticked this, just how many points does it cost to join this giveaway? I like to keep it low, so let's just say five points. The maximum amount of tickets one user can buy is 10 right now. So they can spend 45 points, because the first one is free, or like this, 50, to join with 10 tickets. They have 10 chances that way. They can also decide to buy one ticket with a free ticket, or just with five coins like this, to have one chance instead. Now here you can also give your subscribers a little bit more luck. They don't have special treatment if this all the way to the left, but you can give them twice as many chance or three times or four times all the way up to 10 times more chance to win. So if you have two tickets, one from a subscriber and one from somebody else that not subscribe, this way they both have 50% chance. Now this way, it's already not 50% anymore. Now this way, the non-subscriber almost has no chance to win in a sense. Let's put it on no special treatment and I'm gonna create and start. All right, here we can see how long the giveaway is running, how many people have entered and the tickets purchased. You can click on the public page here this is what people see where people can buy tickets. So here they can put in how many they want and they can see how many sweaters that's gonna cost. 20 sweaters, because the first one was free, right? And then they can buy tickets by clicking on this. And here they can see how many people have entered and how many tickets in total that have been bought. We'll also see the username and the amount of tickets coming in here. I recommend sharing the link to this page in your chat to make it easy for people to join. In my Twitch chat here, now we see that Stream Elements also said a giveaway has started for Starfield giveaway. Tickets tend to buy 10 tickets. A tickets cost five sweaters. So you can also do exclamation mark tickets space in the amount of tickets you want to buy. It could be that you run in some problems and if you do the exclamation mark ticket that it won't work. What you need to do then is you need to go to chat pod, chat commands, and then here search you can either control F or you can just scroll through, but you know, search and then type ticket. And here we see enter, buy tickets for a giveaway. Make sure that this is on. If this is off, if this is ticked off, you can see that this is the ticket command. You can also do exclamation mark enter instead of ticket. If this is off, the bot won't react on the people buying tickets in your chat. So make sure that you do that. Now I asked some friends to join. I tried myself as well, just to see if I would join then, but apparently you just can't join your own giveaway, which makes sense, but I had to try. <laughs> and we see Kitchen Troll here has got three tickets now, bought three tickets. Palladian got tr four tickets. And, uh, and Stream Elements is confirming that because we had that tick on, right? And Tom, he can't type. But it's fine, he bought one ticket anyway. <laughs> when everybody's in or you're like, well, we're okay, we can close the giveaway right here. And then we can draw a winner, draw a winner. Now Kitchen Troll won 
and we can either draw another way now and then play an also one <laughs> and then we mark it as complete mark it as complete and now we know that these two are the winners and we know who has joined and stuff like this star means that they are a subscriber which means that if you have the subscriber lock on they will get extra chance right do giveaways actually grow your twitch stream in one way they do because new people are finding your twitch stream However, I feel like there's a lot of people that just go over streams trying to find free games. These people aren't interested in seeing your content, but they are interested in finding games to win, right? So these people won't watch your stream unless you do giveaways all the time. What I've done is that people can get these points that you can also spend on these tickets, right? But you get these points and they can spend them in my shop, my sweater shop, that's how I call it. But it's actually a game shop. This is my game shop and as you can see, here it has a money icon, but these are the points. We call them sweater points because my name actually means sweater in Dutch. And people can actually buy these games. They can just redeem it. I've got a lot on here. <laughs> There's a lot of games they can redeem. I usually add more every now and then. And then, for example, they like this game or Beholder 2. I like Beholder 2. And then they can spend their points and just redeem it. And they immediately get a Steam key and then they can redeem it on Steam. I think this is a way better way to reward your viewers because this way people need to watch your stream to be able to buy these games instead of being able to just randomly get one even though they've never seen your stream before. If you wanna know how to set up this store, make sure to check out this video because I explain how to set this up in there. I think that's a way better idea than just doing game giveaways. However, it can be fun for an event stream to do game giveaways. I do them every now and then through the giveaway system. Sometimes it's also fun to be able to give away a name in a game. For example, if you can rename a character that you just do a giveaway on whose name you're gonna use for that character. If you enjoy stream elements videos, I do have a playlist right here with more stream elements videos. That's the place to subscribe. And if you wanna help me grow, this is the place to subscribe because that is my gameplay channel. 